I'm your first guest on what? In, the garage. Uh, uh, in our new, on our fucking new space, bro. What is this? <laughs> I don't know. <mind. laughs> Why am I over here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> do it, oh, you trapped now. <laughs> uh, mm. Oh man, how are your ankles? The tops are so hard. I wish they made a softer nipple on the beverage. You know what I'm talking about? No. I don't. Know. It is. Sha- I guess it's softer. Is nipple I guess it is nipple shape. But yeah, think about it. They could make a. Look how hard that is. Yeah. But if I saw a woman with that kind of titty though, with that shape, mm-hmm. I would not suck it. Would you? I have that shape. That long? No, I don't. You that's never a long stop, hitter. Bro. It's a long keep hitter. Keep in mind that I did get breast implants out. You did? You got them out? Yeah. Ooh, I want them. What'd you do with them? Yeah. I still have them. You do? Heck yeah, I'll take one. I'll take one. I put one of them in my sack, my left sack. I don't want two breasts at my house that are someone else's. You need headphones or no? Huh? Yeah, I'll take them. But if you guys, uh, yeah, I'll take one of them. You know, if it's okay with Bobby. I'll give it one. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to have somebody's wife's breast implant if I, if I don't ask them. But it's not really it's yeah. not a part of me. It's, it's a foreign bought substance. Yeah, but I bet I bet you could catch. I, see, I bet if you held on to it long enough, you could catch the vibe of you. you know? <laughs> could you put, instead of silicone, could you put somebody else's breast in your breast? You could put your own fat into your breast. Mm-hmm. No, but could I go like if Dolly Parton died and shit and go, hey, can you donate? When you die, and I want to put your breast into my breasts. No, because it, it, it would have to be like sterilized, all that stuff. Yeah, I don't know if they can inject someone else's f- like fat or tissue into you. I'm not saying inject, dog. I'm saying just surgically implant. fucking implant. So I'll have the, the scars, the Franken scars. I don't give a fuck, dude. And I'll have Dolly Parton's tits. I'll have a guitar. I could maybe be able to sing a tune. <laughs> You're getting greedy. <laughs> I am? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Or I'll just take the breasts then, man. I don't have to fucking have the musical talent as well. <laughs> Dude, yeah. You know? Yeah, do you think if John Mayer jerks off on your back, you're going to be able to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good tune. You're going to be able to do a tune or something? Yeah, I don't know, man. You, you, well, you've changed, man. <laughs> you think since the fucking quarantine I've changed? Oh, you had changed before that. Uh, yeah? Just reminding yeah. you, yeah. you become fucking distant to me, man. Well, it's because you freaking... Built your studio <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's 10 feet, bro. I can't even see you. <laughs> you should see. You were at the lockers, dude. You were at one point at the lockers. Like, you got to bring them in a little because I couldn't see it. Yeah, you yeah. were in between that space. Yeah, you were we in, in that little that box. All the way yeah, back. Yeah. Really? Yeah, so we yeah. brought you forward, dude. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Yeah. Damn, <laughs> yes, man. Thank you. So um, let, let's start and then um, don't talk from now on. I know you already talked. Well, this is more dangerous than AIDS, too. COVID. Why? COVID, whatever it is. Let's talk about it when I bring you up, or? Huh? Yeah, let's wait till we start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Write that down. More dangerous than AIDS. More dangerous than AIDS. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Sorry. Go on. Start over. My bad. I thought I was on my podcast. (laughs) Do it again. Coffee, you're gonna die. Cold brew. Welcome to another episode. Hey, oh, bop, 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 bop. I've been doing that lately to her. I've been doing that Whitney bop, bop, bop to her, and she Me gets too. fucking uh, fucking traumatic responses from it. No, I, I, I only don't like I. I like it when she says it, not when you say it. I know. Bop, I bop, do bop, bop. Don't yeah. eat all your money to giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't what? talk, yeah, fuck. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, bro, I'm fucking excited because um. Bub, bub, bub. <laughs> Sorry, you're about to piss me off, bro. I can't get my butt bub up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got a butt tile. Dude, dude, dude. So, Dirty. Um, Dirty. Well, dude, I'm so excited because um. What's with you, bro? We 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 moved over to the garage, and so that we could have guests, mm-hmm. so we can have distance. Um, let me introduce everyone in the room. Oh, by the way, by the by. You know, we've got White White, 
George Kimmel oh, in the house. Oh. And I haven't had White White here working with us for a while. Praise it's God. It's good to see you, man. Praise <laughs> praise the Lord, bro. PTL, baby. Right? All right, oh, here you go. Geez, we man. got fucking flat, flat. <laughs> yep, yep. Got white, white. We got flat, flat. <laughs> it's good to see you too, man. Great to see you, Captain. And it's good to see you on the fucking battlefield, my friend. Yes, sir. War wow. zone. War zone. War zone, baby. War zone. 2020, all day, every day, dog. And then we've got my beautiful um, Kalila, my princess. Yep. My my left hand woman. Mm -hmm. And then um, you know we have a guest, our first guest in in since quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't give a fuck. You can snore all you want, bro. But like, whenever I think about guy, this guy right here, uh, a, a song pops in my head. I want to sing it right now, right? Okay. Carry on my wayward son. <laughs> There'll be peace when you are done. Boom, boom. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. That's what I think of, man. I think of that. I think of a guy who. Um, you know, not a lot of people call me during the quarantine. Mm. <laughs> you know, I've had maybe three people. One of them I don't even want to talk about. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? But this guy's called me in quarantine to check to see how I've been doing. And, uh, you know, it's really good to connect with, uh, you know, him and I have a very. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> him and I have. Dude, I haven't seen you in a while. Why did I come, though? If you're just <laughs> gonna do it, yeah, but, dude, I haven't seen you in a while. So I I bet, I'm like, keep going, keep going, my bad, my bad. Bro, Sorry. it's like, you know. Um, I haven't seen anybody really. I think aside from Santino, you're the first comedian I've seen in flesh. Mm. Wow. Really? Yeah. Since, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I haven't seen the Cummings or nothing. Oh, yeah, you haven't. Yeah, so um, how about a round of applause for, for my buddy? The, 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 uh, how about a round of applause for my buddy? The, 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 just... Theo, Theo Vaughn, Theo Vaughn, Theo Vaughn, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so bro, good to see you, dude, you too, man, thanks for having me, man, it's good to be here, yeah, and uh, it's good to see you guys, you know, and yeah. it's good to know that you guys are alive and that everybody's doing good, you know, yeah, and I like the way you got this set up over here, the whites and the, you know, and the non-whites, <laughs> Yeah, I get it. Do you dude. know what race I am? Theo? Pinoy, baby. Ooh. Pinoy, baby. Every day, every day, man. Mm -hmm. From the Yo. dark, from the dark side of the island, though. I do know. I that. know, dude. Only sunlight from the once north. a year there, man. What? From the island he's from, it's an eclipse. The, the northern Pinoy, baby. Yeah, it's like that one fucking vampire movie. Remember that one, th Thirty Days a Night or whatever, bro. Twenty eight mm. days later. Twenty eight days later. No, not twenty eight days. It was like thirty days a night. You never seen Dracula? It. Not fucking Dracula, man. With there Vin was, Diesel. It's Vin Diesel's no way in it. <laughs> What movie are you talking about? There was a movie called 30 Days of Night, whatever. Chronicles where that, of Riddick? No, not Chronicles <laughs> of Riddick, baby. 30 Days of Night. Like, yeah, and it was basically, dude, it was in Alaska, mm. bro. You remember it? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, and that one dude, what's his name? The white dude? Gold Rush? No, Gold... Not Gold Rush, bro. It's gold not Gold Rush, gold Trucker? Rush. No, it's not. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, I don't know what you're talking gold about. Gold Boy? Josh Harnett was in it? Josh Harnett yeah. was in Josh it. Hartnett. That's my boy, dude. Josh Harnett. And in fucking 30 days a night, man. Oh, fuck, bro. You know what happens? What? Because, you know, there's only sunlight at certain times at certain times. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like in this, was it winter time? The sunlight don't come out no more, man. Mm. Solstice, they say. I think solstice. <laughs> yeah, solstice, dude. And so then all of a sudden, you know, you know, because vampire, except for Blade, what's it, Wesley? Wesley Snipes. Snipes. He, could, he could walk around during the day, man. Mm-hmm. Because he's what a daywalker is what they call them, mm -hmm. right? But in thirty days of night, bro. Now regular vampires, you know, even the immigrant ones. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa I, I'm like a stretch. Are you talking about Amistad? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not talking about Amistad. Because this movie's like merging into different movies. No, no I know. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that the regular ones, dude. Now they can walk <laughs> around during the day because it's night anyway. Because it's always fucking night, right? So it makes it even more scary because, you know, when you have vampires in your area, right, if you don't know this, we could hang out, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. During the days because they don't hang out during the day. They don't mm -hmm. like sunlight. They're like Andrew mm -hmm. Santino. Mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. so it's you know I mean? not like the Lost Boys. No, it's not like the Lost Boys. But then, like, you know, anyway, I don't know why we even got into that fucking <laughs> thing, bro. But but yeah. But but yeah, what I'm saying, what he's saying is, ladies and gentlemen, Theo Vaughn. That's what he's saying. <laughs> Yeah, Theo Vaughn gave him another round of applause. Thanks, right man. There, dude. dude, I feel like I'm at the weirdest barber shop <laughs> ever. Yeah. 
So, dude, you just got this back. Was like, is anybody going to cut my hair? <laughs> <laughs> this shit is... This shit has, no wonder this shit has two stars on you. <laughs> I feel like that's something we should um, hash out, right? The right. mullet versus mullet deal. Mm. Well, there's nothing, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. There's no hash out to be happen. You know, it's like, you know, a friend of mine. Ooh, he's right? showing it. Oh, he's, oh, showing he's it, right? flexing it. Mm-hmm. You know, a friend oh. of mine, dude. Oh, yeah, that native. Yours is more native. <laughs> yeah, mine's more native. <laughs> it was yeah, more yeah, native. Yeah, yeah. Mine yeah. is definitely a little bit more British. One guy with a drum in front of me, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a drive native. in yeah. front of me, dude. Somebody throws something. Somebody throws a freaking pineapple over your shoulder or something. What? Somebody throws a, yeah. More native. <laughs> somebody throws a spear. Yeah. You know? Somebody carves you up and makes a fucking chubby soup, you know. <laughs> That's your style. But anyway, dude, I got this. Because I was so inspired by your look, bro. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I mean, your sexuality. You didn't even ask me about it. You just got it. No, I, because I don't think I need to ask. It's like, you know. But what if Back I, in the 80s, dude, when, like, people got parachute pants. Mm-hmm. Right? My buddy, Ramon, mm-hmm. got parachute pants. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he was. Is he a military? And, and he was like, and he was like, pop locking and shit, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't call him and go, hey, can I buy those two and do the same moves? No, I just I made my mom go to Nordstrom's. Mm. Yeah, and I got the ones with the most pockets. That's one way to do it, man. You know, I think though, if I would have said like, "Hey, I want to," you know, put on a little, put on a couple pounds, you know, and maybe chop, chop a couple inches out of each one of my legs, <laughs> you know, what if I want to do that? You know, what if I want to, you know. Uh, <laughs> What if I want to kind of make myself look like I had just at the very end of a sneeze, you know? <laughs> then, but I didn't call you first, you know? That's yeah. how I'm feeling. Like, I just, that's let the only thing I felt about, a little. Let me think about that, you know? Well, you know, touche. Yeah. Yeah, okay. touche to you. Well, right? right? On I'm guard do- and touche. Okay. And good day, sir. Okay. All right. But what I want to re- reiterate back to you, dude, mm-hmm. is, is I could have, I could have done this. Mm-hmm. Then bleached my skin, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then taken some brain cells out of my brain, mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> right, right? Like Text you know, what I mean, the philosophical out. ideas about life, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And then I could have added a couple of inches to my legs, mm-hmm. right? Got a truck, mm-hmm. right? And then peed on your lawn, like you just peed on mine earlier. Yeah, Wait, I had what? to pee. That's why. What happened? He peed on. My, he peed on the. Did side. you pee on the concrete, really? or did you pee on a plant? So a little got on the concrete, but not that much. <laughs> So mostly plant. So it, mostly if, plant. as long as yeah. it was, you know, absorbent, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that concrete looks pretty absorbent. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. So uh, what you're saying to me is I should have called you. Yeah, I said, hey, buddy. Thithi. Um, if next time I see you. Yeah. I We look alike then. <laughs> right. But yours is different than mine. Yours is much Thank more you. like of the, it's more Mowgli, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? His is just more... Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, more like oh, like missing person style. Ah, you know? like an '80s kind of uh, synth band. Yeah, something like that. Or yeah. this guy's. Oh, have you seen this guy? And people are like, no, nah, I haven't seen him, man. Never seen him, you know. And they just keep showing the picture around town, you know. <laughs> Did Mowgli disappear? Mowgli. Yeah. No, no I'm Mowgli just saying. Mowgli was raised <clears throat> by uh, a bear. Uh, wolves initially uh, by wolves. wolves. Right? wolves. Yeah. Educate me. Yeah, Mowgli. Who's, the, uh, and then who's Mowgli? I thought he was the lead singer of Missing Persons for a second. You were talking about. Uh, <laughs> 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 He's talking about Jungle no, oh, Book. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah. Jungle He's Book. talking about Jungle Book. Jungle Book, right? right? I think you're so. talking about Mowgli. Mm-hmm. Missing. Per- I thought Missing Persons was the '80s band you were talking about, <laughs> uh-uh. and Mowgli was the lead singer of, <laughs> of Missing Persons. Oh uh-uh. no, uh-uh. sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was my bad, though. It's both of our bad, dude. I can't even believe we get into conversations because. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's when our conversations are like on on the phone. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah we talk about we we're talking about. I'm like, did the phone cut out? Topics. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Did the phone cut out? And you're like, no. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> Neither one of us is getting anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we don't. When we have conversations, when we have a meal or we share, we talk at the comedy store. We don't really know what we're talking about. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's limited. It's it's very limited. Well, Bobby's a hit and run conversationalist. stuff find a lot of times he'll get in there. He'll he'll show up, say a couple things, couple this that that, right. and then he's gone. He's off to the next. He does thing. that. I think with just about including me. 
I tap like him that's, on. He has like a limit to how much he's going to yeah. like time investment, mm -hmm. and yeah. then he's out. Yeah. I, in fact, you know, I go to um, Zoom AA meetings, mm -hmm. and dude, I've seen you in one. Yeah, I saw you, dude. You were making me laugh. Oh my god. Why? Well, why? <laughs> Bro. Bro. Yeah. I've I've been to in my lifetime. I've probably been to hundred thousand AA meetings. Mm -hmm. no. I've laughed maybe twice. Like oh. truly laughed. This dude, because in Zoom ones, right? <laughs> all I did was I just switched to his camera, <laughs> even when other people are talking, right? What a lurker. I know, <laughs> dude, I was lurking on you, bro. Other people were like, talk, you know, you know, other people are sharing. Yeah. My wife, you know, she has COVID, right? Oh, I know, I know, sad. You know what I mean? My dog. It's crazy when people get, yeah. yeah. or whatever, right? But I have just Theo <laughs> on the thing and just watching him listening. Mm -hmm. It was making me laugh so hard, bro. You'd be doing like this with your hands. Well, it's, uh, yeah, I get fired up. Some of the people share. Yeah, I know you were like into it, but it was making he wasn't purposely making me laugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just the way he listens mm -hmm. is humorous. Yeah, it's hard to listen. It's hard to listen for a long time. I feel like in a row, you know, I know, dude, some of those a meetings on Zoom. Do you guys take breaks? No, man. Like, isn't that what they tell? Isn't that why, like, classes are, like, 50 minutes long? Because I don't think your brain's supposed to work for three-hour stretches. Yeah. There's this one that was I, on a Monday night where it's a men's one. Mm -hmm. and well, dude, don't act like she didn't just say something. Let's honor with the... <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard what Thanks, said. Theo. I love you so much, but Theo. You just listened right over. You just didn't even... <laughs> you're like, okay, I'm going to just be quiet for a second. <laughs> Sorry. But I'm trying to earn one of those freaking boxed tits y'all got in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inside. You know what? You're yeah. right. I apologize. You have a boxed tit. You are. I apologize. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no. It's fine. No, it's fine. I, I honestly apologize. You're right. That is something that I'm trying to work on in therapy. And, you know, I do listen to everything she says. Right. But I'm trying to be more attentive to the things that she says and her feelings and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she has, you know, and we both. She has beautiful points. I think she makes beautiful she points. She does make beautiful points. And yeah. she's also a, a beautiful person in her heart. God. Yes. All right, guys. Yeah. Enough. enough. And, no, no, no. And I, Let's keep enough. going, man. And I, no, Look, I'm not going to keep going. I'm if she were alive enough. today, <laughs> she would be, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to keep going. She'd be amazed at all these people. What I'm going to say to, is, you know, baby. Mm. Baby, I love you. Oh, yeah. Baby, I care. You're my little boy, boy princess from an far away island. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. baby. Wait, do you know do you know this about Koreans? Is this a true thing where they take a funeral photo, um, like a funeral portrait mm -mm. before they die? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you were saying, you were talking as if I was passed away and deceased, right? Mm -hmm. Would you guys be into that? Bobby would. Bobby took some pictures when his dad passed away. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like <laughs> you take, like you know that you're, let's say you're in your 80s yeah. and you're coming to the end of your life. Yeah. And so you go into a studio and you take a funeral portrait with your family and all your um, godchildren. You know what I would like do? Like holding you up like you're laying in their arms like across you're the You're not front dying yet, but it's your last final regal portrait of oh, your wow. life. No, I would do one of those 3D mugs or statues yeah. they do at yeah. the mall now. Mm -hmm. So you go into it, you know, they have that now at malls. Mm -hmm. It costs thousands of dollars, but I would like to be a mug, like a coffee mug oh, yeah. with my family. You could get dermied too. They had a guy by us when I was growing up who had been who'd had a family member taxidermied, fully taxidermied. That's what I want. Just mounted on someone's wall, but I get to choose my pose. Yeah. That's very yeah. good. Mm -hmm. This guy had been uh they had their uncle, it was he was doing like a <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. What? He was doing like, a, like like a it was like a uh, yoga pose? Like it looked like he was doing a like yeah like a no like a prayer or like he was gonna do like he was doing part of patty cake you know yeah yeah, yeah. Like, but he and they caught him like right like that but I remember they had him they had a they had a human man taxidermied I would probably do a pose where it's like I was in a UFC fight okay and somebody gut punched me mm. and so I'm like you know what I mean like uh, one leg on like, the ground yeah and I'm flying back right and like this yeah that'd be cool in uh -huh. action. Yeah, because I want people to know that I was like, you know, it wouldn't be true; it'd be lying, right? But I was that you were in action. But I was in action. You know what yeah. I mean? When I died. If you, know? you were terminally ill, would you want a funeral before or after you die? Ooh, Ooh. I think this yeah. is a really this is a really amazing thing you're saying, and I'm glad we're listening to you. Um, <laughs> all right, you already got one. Are you trying to get two titties? I would say. No. He's trying to win two you trying titties. To get, what? You trying to get two? No, I'm not. You creep. <laughs> I'm happy with one, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
I just want something the cat can play with in the living room. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, no, but what if yeah. we start getting so like into ourselves as humans that we start having our funerals before we die? That's what she was asking. Yeah, I could see that. Because yeah. some people do that now. Wow, really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that that movie with uh, Nicolas Cage, The Weatherman, he does that, right? With his father or something like that, where they do a, a live funeral when the person is still living. So that wow. you get to hear what everyone is, what you know, your whole family really, truly thinks of you from their heart. But the problem is that you do the fucking funeral before... And then what if you don't die right away? Yeah. Mm. And then six months later, you're at a Starbucks yeah. and some dude that was at your funeral sees you. Yeah. And yeah. they're like, you're not dead yet? Yeah. yeah. Some guy like, banged your sister it, after your funeral. And you're like, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the kind of guy that tries to bang at somebody's yeah. funeral. You're a sicko. Also, I don't want to also. You're a sicko, boy. <laughs> you're a sicko, man. Yeah. I also don't want my funeral before because what if no one shows up? Oh no. no! No, because if, if I died, right? Stevie's gonna freaking show up, dude. She's gonna go. I We're, know, but dude, I want like. If I'm in town, I'm gonna go, dude. People are gonna go. If man. you're in town, all right, all right. That's a good question. I don't know what my schedule is. I, I understand that, but I, I'm gonna ask you, right, right now. Yeah. What? You, and I want you the honest fucking answer. Okay. Because we're bros, right? Yeah. Okay. I want an, uh, honest answers from you. Dude. Okay. So, what would you cancel, right? Mm -hmm. To go to my funeral Oh I'd definitely cancel my own wedding If I, had, if I was freaking getting married Okay That's, That's big But well, what huge. about this That's would you Would you cancel Let's say you sold out but I cancel my wedding for probably almost anything. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's why I fucking brush my back. Oh, we wedding? Yeah. Can't take it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But let's say you sold out like a 20,000 seat venue, but it lands on the same day as my funeral. Would you mm -hmm. cancel that? Hmm. Be honest. I couldn't, man. And I don't think you'd want me to. That's why I wouldn't. I think you'd want me to I'd be want there. You. I'd want He'd you. want you to. I'd want you to. What if I got a live stream of you in your casket to open up the show? <laughs> wow. I, I'll, I'll make you a deal. Okay. I'm the closing. Okay. Oh, you really pre-record a set? No, I want to just no. do the live stream mm -hmm. of my casket at the end when he's getting a standing ovation. Just boom. Yeah. You put it on the monitor mm. so that I could, you know, when I'm flying up to heaven, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. flying and I can see it and I'm getting a standing O. That'd be fucking cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. I could do that, man. I'll do that for you. Would you cancel? Um, no. -uh. Oh, I have one. I have one. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Poirier, Khabib rematch his retirement fight. For the championship, mm. you're sitting front row. You know what? He, you're cornering him at this point. Mm -hmm. Bobby dies. What do you do? Mm. Just probably wish Bobby was there with me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, in a loving way, man, I would, and I'd bring that tit with me for good luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I put it at the bottom of the ice bucket of, of Poirier's ice bucket. Yeah. Let's do a softball one. Let's do a softball okay. one. Um, okay. you, <laughs> let's say you met, let's say you met, a girl, dude. Are we? Gonna, is somebody at least gonna wash my hair? I've been here for twenty minutes. <laughs> We're a popular fucking barbershop, my friend. Yeah, I know. You didn't make an appointment. You didn't make an appointment. I'm no. just saying, man. Let's get. To the, <laughs> I know. Let's cut to the trim. You Wait, so you went to Vegas and you saw the fight. Now, what? I mean, so Poya, I, I did you see the fight? Oh my god, crazy. We crazy. saw the fight. Crazy, right? And I, I know a lot of listeners aren't into the UFC and shit. You should be. I think they are. It's growing. There was 100,000 new people watched uh, the fights the other night, mm -hmm. I heard. Mm -hmm. Like, brand new for the first time, which is it, pretty. It's a, it's a lot of people. For Every fight, by the way, was entertaining to watch. But the point, and if for some reason now, because there's no audience, you can hear Ooh. and feel yeah, every slap, every, slap oh. yeah. every punch, every elbow. It's so brutal. Oh, it's like fucking in prison, I, I feel like. I much prefer this setup with no audience. Like, I'm really just zoned in, mm -hmm. and I feel like the fighters almost seem looser and just willing to really, like, slug it out. Like, yeah. they aren't, there aren't any other extra elements that they have to worry about. And They're I feel like the fights have been better. Yeah. They're, right, we were talking about they don't seem as nervous. Mm -hmm. They don't. You know, imagine like, oh, I know my crew, right? I kind of know their crew. Yeah. You know, there's Dana. What's up? He's like t 20 feet away. What way? Right. And then you're like, you know, the cameraman you're used to. It's uh, the pressure is out. If you and I. Oh, it's a were, good point. Yeah. If you and I were doing this podcast right now and there was fucking 30,000 people around us, yeah. it would change. 
the way we would do it even. That's a good point. We wouldn't get a laugh. We'd just be like, oh, fuck. Right. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, and if the crowd all did something and maybe you weren't uh, like aware of it, especially if you're in a fight, if they all make like a ooh and you don't know <laughs> yeah. what's going on, it might have you like backpedaling like, am I not seeing something? That's yeah. a good point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and also like they're able to hear their corner so well and they're able to hear the color commentary. Yeah. So yeah. like I know that Poirier heard Mike Bisping. Bisping. I saw that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And That's he was funny. like, listen to Bisping. That. Yeah, and, and it's funny because Bisping, I, I I think favored Poirier a little bit because at one time he's like, get your hands up. Yep. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey guys, we're going to take a quick break to share this amazing product with you. Hymns, hymns, hymns. We love it so much. Hey guys, hymns we use and we love this fucking service. It's the best. Tell them more. Guys, we love it so much that I use it every day. You guys, hymns is one of my favorite services of all time because, um, like I've said before, if I, ha- if I had hymns in my early 20s, my life would have been completely different. Uh, 66 percent of men start to lose their hair by the age of 35 and once you've noticed thinning hair it can be too late and this is a service that you can get professional help Mm -hmm. hymns is helping guys be the best version of of themselves Mm -hmm. with licensed physicians and fda approved products to help treat hair loss no snake oil pills or gas station counter supplements. Professional. No more awkward in-person doctor visits or long <laughs> pharmacy lines. For Hims connects you to real doctors online, which could save you hours. Completely confidential and discreet. Professional. Right now, our listeners can get started with their first month free. Go to forhims.com slash belly. That's forhims.com slash belly. Disclaimer, prescription requires an online consultation with a physician who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Offer valid only if prescribed. Three-month minimum subscription. Additional restrictions apply. See website for full details and important Special. safety information. Remember, that's forhims.com slash belly. Professional. 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 Enjoy the rest of the show. Hello, Slub Kingdom. We have big news. Ooh. Tiger Belly is excited to present... The Tiger Belly Singing Competition, (gasps) brought to you by the Tiger Belly Patreon, your home for the official Tiger Belly Singing Competition show. That doesn't mean you have to be on the Patreon to enter. All sleepers can enter the competition. If you want to participate, record your audition, name the file with your email address, Mm -hmm. and upload it to Dropbox. (laughs) Tell them more. Hold on. Let me me repeat that. This is how you are able to participate. (laughs) You record your audition. Yep. You name the file with your I email address. Yep. You I then upload that. it to Dropbox. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Link in the description. The link, link is in, in the, the description. description. <laughs> the winner gets to sing the outro <gasps> song for the Tiger Belly Ooh. podcast with more possible prizes. Mm-hmm. Gilb? We would like to thank our Patreon members for making this possible. For more on that, you can go to patreon.com slash Tigerbelly. Once again, if you want to participate, record your audition, and very important, name the file with your email address so we can contact you and upload it to Dropbox at bit.ly slash Talent. Link in the description. Okay. But I think um, the fights are better. It's, uh, I just, the audience just dr- drives me crazy. Me too. Yeah, and I think yeah. um, it's just it's just funner to watch. Well, like, even when you saw that, I don't know if you saw the fight before, the Brendan Allen and yeah. um, versus Dawkins. He's from Louisiana. He's from he's from the same. Who is? Uh, oh, Brandon Allen is. Yeah, he was really really good. all in Allen baby. And but that Dawkins kid too. That, that was, was his UFC fight. UFC debut. He fought hard. Yeah, he, he has a Rory McDonald vibe. Yeah, he fought hard, man. I think both those guys will have you know continue to have good success. It, it was, you know, it's interesting because even Dustin said after the fight, he goes he likes it better without the audience there. Oh, hmm. oh he did say that. Yep. Which I thought was interesting because you would think, like from our from comedy, it's like yeah, you want people to be in there, but I guess it's probably like you're saying, like it's almost like podcasting. It's like it's more comfortable sometimes when it's just you or when it's just a mm-hmm. small group, because you can kind of zone in on a, a little bit more on what you're doing. You're not doing it for someone. You're doing it more for yourself. You know. Yeah, and that's exactly it. Like when I look at those fighters, there's no audience. I feel like they're fighting because they love it. Right. There's no, uh, they're not performing for anybody. They, they, it's in their bones. They're out there to fight. And it's really inspiring to see those guys beat the shit out of each other for 25 minutes right. with no one around. Yeah. But they yeah, would be bummed. Yeah. They would be bummed though if they fought, no audience. But then somebody told them afterwards, oh, we forgot to turn the cameras on. <laughs> and they're like bleeding, right? Only seven people watched it. <laughs> that guy's... <laughs> yeah, but that would be a run it back, right? Like, yeah. Run it, run it back right now. And they're like, you have to do it again. When? A year? Yeah. yeah. It's like, man, I'm, I'm not doing that again for a year. I have one of my eyebrows in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Now, what... what That's crazy. Was Poye's, um, 
Is it Poirier? Poirier, Poirier. yeah. They got a, either one? Yeah, Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier. Yeah. One, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was Poirier, his eye, was he, fu- like, because I've never talked to, because we've had Bisping on our podcast, and but we've never talked to, I've never talked to a fighter directly after a match. Right. Mm-hmm. Or fight. Was he coherent? Yeah, it was funny, man. He showed up uh, about an hour and a half. He had to go to the hospital, he said. And um, so I just went up there and met up with his wife and some of his friends who were sitting there watching the fight. About five people, six people maybe. And then uh, he had to go to the hospital. One thing that he said that was really funny was he said at the hospital he's in one uh, like stall or whatever they're called. And uh, Dan Hooker, um, who's also an am- he seemed like an amazing dude, is in the other stall. And there's a curtain between them. And Dustin said, he goes, and I told him, he goes, hey, man, I just heard we got the fight of the night bonus. Yeah. And, uh, and Hooker goes, oh, that's great, man. Still feels just the same. <laughs> <laughs> I would have laughed at that. Oh, man. I would have laughed was, at that. Yeah, yeah Me yeah. too, man. That's one of the beautiful things I love about humor is that just sometimes some jokes can only be, it can only happen in one space, in one time. Yeah. And there's no, it can never happen again, man. Yeah. That's yeah. one of my favorite things about about humor. Dustin's really funny, man. I think a lot of people don't get to see a lot of his personality, but he's really, really funny. Uh, but it was cool, man. He came back and he's just dressed like, like he just fucking, you know. Went to a business meeting. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something, man. They always do that. They wear a suit afterwards, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm a professional. Yeah. yeah. And I guess they are, man. It was fun. We got to sit and watch the fight again. So we sat and watched the fight on his computer and just, um, uh, yeah, it was just it was just interesting to then to be able to watch him, like, kind of go through the fight. And, yeah, I don't know. He just loves fighting. He he just loves it. You can tell. What, uh, what I found interesting in the fight was between the fourth and fifth round, his corner man or his coach goes, uh, you having fun out there? He's mm-hmm. like, I'm having a blast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's not what I would say. No. I, I'd go, oh. I, <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't feel nothing. You know what I mean? Or, is it, you know, there's blood in my skull. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can feel blood in my skull. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, or something like that. Right? Yeah, what would you say? I don't think say I would having a blast out there. <laughs> right? Does it, sound, does it look like a blast? I think you have to do that in case they hear you across the cage and to just tell yourself, what are you going to... Oh. And I think that's where they're able to do that kind of that kind of sport. Because I'm like you, man. I'm just fascinated by the fact that those guys can do that. Because I don't have that in me. You know? I don't I just either. have that thing that's more just fear, you know? Yeah. To be able to just go past those moments of, like, of fear and see what's on the other side of them in anything. It's pretty but, wild. I but like. I can understand that. That's why I like it. I can understand um, going through a scary situation and coming out the other side. Right. Yeah. And that kind of like, and especially if you win. But even someone like Dan Hooker, he knows, like if I went in there and I half-assed it, I knew I didn't train that good, right? In the third round, I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. But if you're like Dan Hooker, you could tell he put everything mm. on the fucking line. Yeah. And so he's sitting there next to Poirier and also fight of the night and all that. You know when you lay in bed, even though you lost, you know that it's for the history books. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? No one's going to watch that and go. Everyone said on Twitter and stuff, wow, that Dan Hooker's a beast. That was yeah. a close fight. Mm-hmm. What a warrior. Yeah. Right? And... He, he he can take that with him in his life, and that probably motivates him for the next fight. I think it's an addiction yeah. in that that's, way. That's that's right? I I don't care about rankings. Like when I look at a fighter, I always care about. And it, Dustin Poirier is a perfect example of that. When has he ever had a boring fight? Yeah, like, right. ever. Yeah, like we always watch his fights. Yeah. I don't care how he's ranked, where he falls in that num, where he falls there. I will always watch him forever. Yeah, yeah. There's something. Yeah, it's something. It, it, it's something to. I, 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 it's something that's just amazing to see some of these guys do, how they manage it, and how they then afterwards sometimes go back to like their respectable, you know, they still respect each other and stuff. Yeah. I think there is also a level, like you're saying, Bobby, of, of like earning a respect, win or lose. Yeah. yeah. Um, Feels like a win win. Like I thought that was a win win for them and for bad. us. I feel bad for the like, the ones that aren't in UFC, the amateur fighters. Oh, yeah. Fighting they like have a the holiday in. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. They, <laughs> right. But then the next day, they're like delivering Domino's pizza. Oh, yeah. Definitely, dude. Right. Yeah. With, yeah, <laughs> with both their arms are broken. They're just <laughs> balancing it on their shoulder up to the door. Yeah. Yeah. I feel bad for those guys. Like, even in like um, the Premier League in England, the soccer, right? 
the fourth tier guys. Yeah. Right. Because there's what seven hundred teams. Yeah. In England, but they you know have their matches. They still have to go to practice, but then they also have to go to their accounting job. Yeah. Wait, in the lower tiers. In the lower tiers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So but, I just feel bad. You know, I just feel bad for that. But but that's know. what you, that's how you know they they just love oh, to do it. Yeah, and that's meritocracy too. You gotta have that. You gotta have. I think people that earn their way into the. To the big space, you know. Yeah. Um, How do you feel about comics? And I've been str- I w- I've been struggling with this for many many years, and I think I've changed my point of view on it. Dude, we sound like smart people. Do you notice that all of a sudden? <laughs> Intellectual. Intellectual. Like in the past ten minutes, I don't even know what happened. <laughs> Wait, I feel like all have to be silly Billy. No, I know. I just feel like we're just just like all of a sudden we're just. Like, <laughs> I don't know. We're in a library now, baby. Yeah, I feel like we're in a library. We should, we should bring it. We should bring it back down. We should take it down a notch. Back to. Low bro. Yeah, we need somebody to just. Yeah, yeah well, I'll talk about my dick later. Okay. Bumps on my dick. <laughs> okay, cool, yeah, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, I got yeah. little bumpies on my dick. I want to talk about. Uh. Later. You have bumpies on your dick? No, I'm just kidding. Uh. I don't have any bumpies. I was just kind of trying to make something up to go low. <laughs> my dick has like a little, like a. <laughs> I don't want to say like a. It almost has like a like a little belly button on the end of it. I feel. Like. Wait, hang that's on, hang uh, on. That's called that's foreskin. Force, yeah, force <laughs> yeah, yeah force I have okay. that too. I have a belly button too. Wait, hang on. There's a belly button underneath it. No, no, no. Yeah. Like on the very tip. Yeah. It's yeah. almost like a little lookout kind of. Like a little bitty piece of skin. It's no bigger than like two pieces of little salt. Oh, yeah. It's foreskin. Okay. I, I that, have a yeah. dark ring of hate. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you look at my staff. Uh-huh. Staff. Right? Well, not the staff, but the like, you know. Shaft. The shaft. The shaft. Staff shaft. Oh, staff. Oh, yeah, staff. I'm a wizard, so I call staff. it a staff. staff. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? It has a glow. That the root. The root. <laughs> the root. Right? The root, right? I have a dark ring of hate around it. Oh, wow. It might be psilocybin. <laughs> No, what's psilocybin? What's psilocybin? What's psilocybin? What's psilocybin? I don't know what that is. Psilocybin's the active ingredient. It's that mushroom. Dude, what do you mean? You don't know mushroom. what it is? You have a computer in front of you. What is, dude, what is it? Fucking like 1987? <laughs> All right, look it up. I'm sorry, man. I'm joking. It's dude. shrooms gills. It's that green. It's the uh, purple circle around a mushroom that makes you okay. feel exotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's got, it's, you know, I don't know how the, it happened. Because, you know, when I was a baby, mm-hmm. where I was a young man, right? Because I, 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 I'd see, I, I would see those things are very two different. I was a baby young, young man. man. When I was a baby young man, you know what I mean? At eight, eight or nine or whatever. Eight or 30. Yeah. Right? I would probably look, I would probably analyze my penis maybe oh, yeah. 10 times a year. Oh, I love looking at my dick when I was younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. But like really analyze it. Oh, I would, yeah. I would stretch the, you know, yeah. hold it, weigh it. Uh-huh. What? I'd go into somebody's bathroom and lay on, the, lay on my side by the scale and just set it right on that. <laughs> oh, wow. If they had one of them little scales. Yeah, yeah, and I, you know, I used to put glue. Or, you know, I, you know, I used yeah. to on your penis. To make mold. Yeah, Elmer's glue on my t- dick. Mold. Oh, oh wow. wow. To make a mold. Try to make a mold. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, that's beautiful. And show it to my mom. Um, and you guys ever pull a worm out your butt before? Oh, what? Hello. What happened? Cut. That wasn't part of the line, baby. Uh-uh. Um, but I respect what you're talking about, <laughs> and I respect all women, and I think that. But you guys didn't have worms when you were younger. Huh? <laughs> no. Yeah, people did have them. I didn't get them. I got lice. I got worms. Oh, on the I had top. lice oh. too. Wait, wait. So wait. in the Philippines, you just rando get rando. No, 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 no. I was a real dirty kid. My 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 dad didn't let us wear like even a t-shirt until we were like eleven. We were just in oh. our underwear. Oh yeah. We were just like wild little Mowgli's. Yes. Oh. And so I never wore slippers, and that's how you get worms. And I would, yeah, I got worms and I'd pull them out my oh, butt. Yeah. I felt so good. I remember feeling oh like, my wow. God. This is- how big are we talking? Uh, one, oh. one of them was real long. I felt something slimy, and then I pulled it out, oh. and I swear, like my eyes rolled in the back of my head. It felt so good. I had a worm on my butt. You did? Yeah, my friend Alan tried to fuck me. Alan? Yeah, at camp, yeah. A Jewish guy or not? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he wasn't Jewish. I, whoa, dude. No, Alan is a, uh, you know, I got I got three friends named Alan. All of them are Jewish. It's, it's <laughs> I know. Jewish it, it, name. I just didn't yeah, know. Yeah. I, can't, I don't want to say his last name. If you just said Randall, I wouldn't have said, oh, a Jewish guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, he, he, I, you know, I, I remember I told you I had gay experiences when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody. And so I just try to do a callback from like 50 episodes ago. Well, I like, I'm sure. <laughs> so I try to do a callback. A lot of people. It got didn't it. land. It didn't land the way I wanted it to land. I'll, I'll be honest. I got it though. If I, I got, was thinking about Alan, the Alan joke. Yeah. yeah. Right. The worm in my asshole, Alan joke. Yeah. For about 30 seconds. Oh. And in my head, I was like, should I throw it out? Mm-hmm. I threw it out. You did. Obviously, it's documented. Yeah. I threw it out. It's here. Yeah. And then it it had an uncomfortable land. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You mean really no humor? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you guys started questioning me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Was how was old Jewish? was Alan? What, was he Jewish? Whatever, right? Well, Alan. I know. My point Alan. is is that Wait, my Al- joke Alan got with fucked. L L E N. I fucked the joke. 
Al- I, wait, this is going to answer your question. Is it Alan with an A L A N <laughs> or an A L L E N? Because that might answer answer your question. I don't know if it what will. is it. There Alan? is no Alan. There is no. Oh, there is no fucking. Oh, there's Alan. no Alan. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, wow. oh my god! Oh, the before uh, so I now pull the worm we, out of my oh, now we dude. talked about the dick. Can we go I'd high? I throw a little freaking. I'd slip a little dang sunflower seed up there for it. Mm. Find Where? a worm in, inside a bump oh. butt. You like, feed the worm to bait it, or I mean, if I was young and I you know cared about animals and stuff, yeah, I bet I would. Mm. You know, get you a little, you know, oh. a little s- cinnamon stick or something. Just you know, give it a little one of those good and plenty. You ever had one of them? What's a good and plenty? What's a good and plenty? It's a candy. Small shaped candy. You probably wouldn't even feel it into your into your butt. You know? Yeah. But oh but it oh, oh. a good and plenty. Mm-hmm. I've never heard of it. The candy. Mm-hmm. So um let me just ask you some questions it's about this it. one. Purple one. All right. I can't see I've never had Oh, that. so it's not chocolate based? No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, so good and plenty aren't chocolate based. No, chocolate. <laughs> you think I'm a damn school shooter, bro? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so <laughs> it's, not, it's booty safe, man. Yeah, yeah. It's booty so safe. It's, it's fruity. It's fruity. Oh, yeah. it's like a licorice. It's licorice. kind of licorice. It's a licorice and the shape is, from what I saw from the thing, the shape's tube con- shaped? It's conducive, yeah, to a butt. Oh, <laughs> it looks like a thinner pill. Yes. Yes. I know what a good and plenty is. Yeah. I've done it before. Yeah, so if I had a, yeah, but pulling a worm out of your butt seems just damn. God. Yeah. Mm. So what it would you like do? It should be like a national sport or something in some of those <laughs> kind of foreign countries, you know, real. We ha- one of our national sports is spider fighting. You guys do that in Louisiana? Mm-mm. Where you put two spiders on a stick and you fight it out. Mm-mm. And then the other spider eventually like kills the other spider and then you bet money. That's what we did as kids. They're called caca. Oh, Ooh, that's so cool. So let me ask you. Something. Damn, we didn't do anything yeah. like that. I know. So you have a stick. A stick. And then but there's only a specific type of spider. It, you have to get a caca. You can't just get a random black widow and I know, but the stick We used though, to bet on how many babies a dog was gonna have. People be <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow. The dog would bet. start whelping and giving birth and people out there throwing. Do them stillborns up. count? Uh I don't remember. And I'm glad I don't even know. I think people would if, if it was stillborn, they just would shake it and pretend like it was making a sound. Like, oh look, this little <laughs> Because nobody was showing a kid a stillborn animal, Jesus. But we, let's you know? go back to the stick. If somebody did that, I'd fucking, I'd put a worm back in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I would, man. But baby, is the stick like you a regular stick you would get from a tree, or yeah, is it a stick. professional? Yeah, and is then, it like a solid? And yellow? you get you get a matchbox, right? And mm-hmm. then you you compartmentalize the matchbox into six different rooms, and that's where you house your spiders with a little drop of milk, mm-hmm. and then you raise your spiders and you take it to your friend, and you're like, "Do oh, are we are we fighting today?" Mm-hmm. And then you get a stick, and then your friends gather around, and then people bet on the spiders. Yeah, and then that's just the game we played. I would yeah. I would make like little hats on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just to get you know, to, so people knew it was mine. Oh, like, oh, it's Bobby Spider. Yeah. I would do like one of those, like you know, those hat with the little fucking propeller. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, little propeller hat, right? And you even traveled with. You would spin it and just take off and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were like the early drone. Yeah, I would name it. What would you name? Si- Simone. Ooh. Simon, something like that. Mm-hmm. Simon Simone mm-hmm. with the pro- pro- <laughs> pro- propeller hat. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I would, a little like Buddy Holly, Bolly, Buddy ha- Holly glasses. Buddy Holly died though in a plane crash. Mm-hmm. Richie Valens. He did? Oh, heartbreaking. Yeah, it, the, you can go see the plane near Iowa. It's in a cornfield over there in northern Iowa, right south of Minneapolis. Dude, I saw La Bamba. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you can go see the plane. You can go see where it ha- where the. But don't need to see it. I saw La Bamba. Yeah. If you want the edited version, go see that. If you want to go, <laughs> yeah. If you want to go pillage around a little bit, see if you can find still, you know, probably a seat, mm. a buckle or something. My favorite mm. line of La Bamba is this: "I had a dream too, Richie." Yeah. Donosuelo was our dad's name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that was a good. I love movie. God, that movie's good, dude. It was so good. Oh, and why it's like, you know, it's like I know that he's Hispanic and that her white family wasn't supportive of it, but he's got a talent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? I met a girl and Donna was her name. Classic, bro. God. And he did another one. What was it called? There's plenty. Um, but what's the main one that he did? Oh, oh. La Bamba. La Bamba. Bamba. That's the one. <laughs> the, the main That's one. the main one. La ba- oh, looks like La Bamba? La Bamba, dude. <laughs> I love, right? It goes, ah, la, 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 or something like la, that. La, 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 something. La, 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 la. Something. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man, it's beautiful. So now we did low bra. We talked about our dicks, the mm-hmm. rings, mm-hmm. your belly button on your dick. Let's go. It's not high- a belly button. It's Let's like go a- highbrow now. 
Welcome. Back to the CNN version. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yes, highbrow. Okay. So we uh, we switched it. Have you watched the show alone? Oh, it's the best show I've ever seen. I can't wait till Thursdays when the new episodes come out on History Channel. I watch the whole series on Netflix. It's we amazing. just started first episode on Netflix. Yeah. yeah, it's so good. It's really good. It's it, so good. It, does it get better? It is so good, man. Because we love it so far. Yeah. It's only you know what it is. Can we tell the audience? Yeah, I don't know. You know what it is? No. I okay. Imagine it. naked and afraid. Mm -hmm. Love it. You love naked and afraid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna imagine whatever you're saying, and let me see if you get it. <laughs> imagine <laughs> naked and afraid, okay. right? Except you're wearing Arctic gear, clothes, mm -hmm. right? Whatever, whatever style that you want, right? Mm -hmm. You get. Ten, just let me finish. I am. You're allowed to have ten items of your choice. Okay. You know, a thimble. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whatever you need. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Doxycycline. Doxycycline. Mm, can you bring antibiotics on there? Uh, you ha that has to be one of them. That yeah. would be so smart. Just like a broad spectrum. Mm. Yeah. It's a great That's idea. Smart. Well, Leo. Very smart. Thank you. So you get 10 items, right? Then you get helicoptered in mm -hmm. to the North Pole. Some people call it Antarctica. Yeah. Some people call it where Santa lives. It's where also. Santa mm -hmm. lives. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's three things <laughs> Antarctica. Right, North Pole, where Santa, Santa lives, lives. Mm -hmm. and some people call it Santarctica. <laughs> Four things, That's Santarctica the, as the, well. The slang, yeah. And then you, they, ten contestants, they get dropped off in s different areas mm -hmm. of Antarctica, mm -hmm. and basically the f helicopter flies away, and then you go bye bye. It's not Antarctica; it's the Arctic. The Arctic. Take five. That's five, five things, right? And then um, they have to just survive. Mm -hmm. Is there an end goal? Last, last man standing. Last man so people standing. tap out. There's no time limit. Yeah, like one yeah. of the guys tapped out after four days because he broke his leg. <laughs> he broke his leg. Yeah. Mm. But, but he was. I was really rooting for him too because I thought that he was the best hunter of the yeah. ten. Yeah, but he didn't hunt shit, baby. He just that, said he was the best. No, no, no. He, he was, was like, an hey, I'm the best like, hunter, and then he broke his leg. <laughs> yeah. No, his yeah, his profession by profession, he was a hunting guide. And those guys are patient because they'll wait like they'll stay five days, two weeks out just for one deer. Mm, they yeah. they have that mental but we, um, resolve. We, we, we weren't able to see his that ability, skill in action. Right. You didn't get to see as much of his skill. Yeah. And yeah. it's so good. Bro. But in the first episode, what we did see is one dude saw a squirrel <laughs> yeah. 50 yeah. miles away on a branch. 50 miles? Not 50. And what shot it? And shot it right through the fucking temple. One shot, one kill. One oh shot, one kill. God. So he brought a gun. No, no he a had a, a, a gun, dude. He, he bow and arrow. It was a bazooka. Okay, that makes more. Yeah, that makes more. <laughs> he sense. fucking he was shot a playing wars, squirrel playing with wars a fucking off. bazooka, bro. An RPG. And he couldn't eat the fucking squirrel because he had bro, blown leave this the, guy alone. Man. It had blown the fucking pieces, bro. So important, right? so important question. You guys are all one person. What ten items are you guys bringing? Okay, this is a good. I'll go, Theo, you go first. The doxy was Let's such do a good honest, idea. Let's do honest, okay. honest ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, honest do we get ten as a group? To ten bring? as a group. Ten as oh, ten as a group. Oh, ten is, that's better because we don't. But but 30. speak to your skill though. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, how about this? How about this? We we're a group. Us three. Mm -hmm. Theo, me, and Kalila, mm -hmm. right? And we get to pick nine things. No, three. Right, because we can get three apiece okay. as a group. And then you get to pick one. Thank you. Okay. Then you get to pick, pick one. one. So you're a part of it too. And before you guys say your things, present your skill set in general. Okay, okay here we go. Um, I, have, I have preserved fat in my body, mm -hmm. right? So I don't really need, I could just not move mm -hmm. and get nutrients from all the fucking fat in my body okay i've stored a lot number two so like a um parasite or something what is that but you're a parasite to yourself <laughs> yeah i'm a parasite to wait, myself wait what are you bringing this is his skill my set skill set first he's calling his skill set we have to I'm, you're not going to rely on me as much because I'm wait, gonna... i need we're, we're bringing tools right no but he asked what our skills what, what oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. like he's a like i was a i got it i got it I'm right behind him. serenity is your skill set almost really yeah oh, number wow. two right i can i can mimic other animals okay right yeah, and they can sometimes, you know, I've I've done it. You haven't seen it, but <laughs> not being real. I know, but we haven't seen it. You haven't seen, seen it, it because you don't see me in nature, right? Yeah, true. But I've done this, and I've had things land on my fucking arm. It's fucking impressive. Yeah, I yeah. did see. Yeah, yeah, not an animal, but like an acorn fall. Yeah, you know what I mean? Or somebody spit on so his arm. Three, yeah, get off this trail, gook! <laughs> yeah. Spit right on my arm. I caught it. Uh, but I did caught it. You caught it. Yeah, caught it. Yeah. I also have um. 
I can keep up. I can uplift people with my words. Yep, that's true. Right, positive mm-hmm. attributions. Yeah. Right. And four, um, I think I would go. Honestly, this is a true one. I would go out of my way. I think, and I'm like that in real life, t- especially not you, but to her. Mm-hmm. I would go out of my way to make it seem to make take care of Kalila. Amen. Mm. Right. So that'd be good. So for you. caring. Yeah, you'd be caring. Like, I care for everybody. Like a okay. nurse almost. Yeah. Also, I'm not. Also, I'm not greedy. Come on, there's a lot of mm. things you have. Hey, but I'm not also greedy with like. I'm not one of those. It's like, I hunted this fucking muskrat, right? So I get half, and you guys share the rest. But I would equally, you know, what mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, you're, you're Filipino, so you would eat the. I eyeballs, think people but. get weird when they they're faced with survival. <laughs> yes, and that's that true. is like the mental. You would have to have trained yourself in really like dire situations in the past to know these things about yourself. Because I don't think we know ourselves until no. we're there. Mm. Oh, I don't know. That's a good point. Uh, yeah, who would we turn into when the t- when mm-hmm. the going? Gets what are your really attributes, tough? Theo? I would say. If we had a had a game night or something, I would think that I would be able to, <laughs> like, think up fun games for us. Ah, mm. I think I would probably be the chef, like regional chef, and I think that I would probably also be willing to sacrifice my body. In what way? In what ways? I don't know. Uh huh. Like maybe. Um, this is what I see you doing since you're a very principled man. I see you getting the attention of like an aggressive um, male moose during mm. mating season oh, yeah. and getting him real close so that I get a good shot. Yeah. Mm. So I that's a that. sacrifice. I also yeah. S- willing to I risk myself. You would, you, would, you would risk your body for my for heat. Yeah. I think would you. Oh, I would lay right in between y'all and just close my eyes and let you guys be comfortable with each other. <laughs> you would be between them. I mean, or around. Oh, I would wait, lay wait, on wait, my. Wait, wait. I would lay penis down and let y'all lay. Down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would, oh. and I would not even. And I would keep my ears closed and eyes closed. Y'all could do whatever y'all wanted, and just and I would just be real quiet. Hmm. What's your attributes, babe? My attributes is I'm very good with first aid. Mm. Okay. Um. That's I, huge. It's very good. Yeah, I'm also pretty good with identifying what's poisonous and not poisonous, oh, and what's huge. edible. Because I, I would eat rocks. Yeah, I would eat rocks. Yeah. Well, you can use gravel to help you digest food. And if we are by a close water source, I am very good with um, just catch, water in general, fishing, fish. things like that. Mm. She's a mm. water person. Oh, yeah, and you're a swimmer. We could put you in there. Hey, yeah. we'll come get you It's too now. cold, though. If I had, that's the one thing I would bring with, oh, is, is, a, is a dry suit. <laughs> a dry suit because I would attempt to. All right, so, first item, dry suit. Okay. Yeah, but or that, or you could just but that's fish. That's selfish. You could just fish. <laughs> but that's what if you're that? that? That's for her. She's getting food for you. Yeah, oh, you're right. Yeah, it has to be a good know thing. Fucking works. So I would bring a net. One. Wow, you're. We're gonna need you to step away from the camp for a little bit. No, Your what, what I'm saying though. is, is that you just said you have positive affirmation. <laughs> I, 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 what I'm saying <laughs> is that she she gets a fucking wet. Yeah, she wants to dress up a little bit. We're gonna be out there for a long time. We don't even know if that's gonna be enough for you. And so all of a sudden, you bring a wetsuit. You go out in the old cold. You're like, it's too cold. No, a dry and suit. Then, a dry suit. You dry don't get wet suit, at all. Bobby, not a wetsuit. It's a dry suit. You're yeah. completely insulated and warm with opposite. a hood and everything. <laughs> oh, it's like one of those old school like scuba diving. They it's did like in the early in the 1900s. Those metallic <laughs> gold things. Yeah. It's what the scientists. <laughs> it, it's what the man. scientist divers wear when they the, when I they go after a leopard seal. Yeah, dry suit. Dry suit. Dry suit. There's no okay, cold. Okay, so oh, I'm sorry, my bad, baby. Bring that. I I think that we would live really well if I had a dry suit mm-hmm. and if I if I had a good if I had a nice spear gun, I could feed us every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow. but I would probably get lonesome. You guys have each other, and then I feel like I would get lonesome, and I would probably have to leave and go do my own camp at some point. No, mm. that's negative. Do you think that in this survival, when you're faced with survival, that you, how many times in a month are you jerking off? Never. Yeah, I wouldn't jerk off all at day. all. At all, I would save everything unless I, unless it, you know, things got really dire, then I would jerk off for someone else. But I'm not jerking off for myself. <laughs> I, 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 I food have, source or? I wouldn't say I wouldn't call it food I would say vitamins <laughs> no, 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 well, we get so desperate oh. for calories that I would you would eat each other's cum that's what whoa, I no. that, no, whoa, 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 whoa. he said, whoa, he said, he said vitamins he said, vi- Easy, bro. he said good in plenty does, does, yeah, um, dude. does cum and I'm not eating any regional semen man <laughs> <laughs> but does cum have Protein. Like yes. the, the, some people say, uh-huh. like nine calories exactly, right? What is it? Bro, I would rather 
Just suck my thumb and hope for the best, man. Oh, 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 what about this? What if I use my cum uh-uh. as a glaze? Quit as a glaze. As a glaze. A demi gloss. Demi gloss. <laughs> no. Like I, 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 build, I make a salmon. Oh my. And I put a little God. cum gla- ga- glaze. I missed on. the old place before you guys started doing it in this <laughs> cutthroat <laughs> garage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, oh no cum. Comes out. Comes we out. didn't know that. Comes out. Comes out. Semen. What if, call it semen. Oh, call semen. It, uh, real quick. What if uh, I was 20, on my knees? 25 calories per teaspoon of cum. Oh, my God. Theo, I'm on my knees. I haven't eaten. Can we eaten. say semen? Jesus. Yeah. Okay. What are you guys raising a damn? We'll have to come in our mouth, I guess. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Theo, yeah, yeah. I'm on my knees, oh. right? That's 75 I'm begging, calories. I'm begging for 25 of your skeet. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of calories. Yeah. You're not giving it to but, me? But, dude, you're not, she's not going to blow you, dude. She, we're going <laughs> to take off the other tree. We're gonna jerk off behind a tree, what? and then we're gonna all run when we're about to run low. And she's gonna open. We're gonna go. Ah! No, no, no! Put it in a in a cup. In and an then no, put cup. it on a leaf back. Yeah, all right. <laughs> a leaf back. That's right. I'm not putting it in a cup like some kind of sinner, dude. <laughs> No, I put it on the my back bad. of a leaf, and then you guys can do with it as you will. <laughs> right. But so, I would close my eyes while you guys did that, or go be by myself. So your item is one is a dry suit. A dry suit and the spear gun. Spear gun is number two. And then a fire starter. A semen I cannot. I'm very, very sensitive to the cold. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I don't do well with cold, so I have to have a fire starter. A reliable one. Yeah. I would do sleeping bag. I would probably do one of those lanterns. Uh, And I would do a... um Decent axe, probably a dull axe. Mm. Adult, like adult. A man. Uh, an axe is definitely non-child necessary. axe. Mm. So that's like if somebody doesn't get a kettle, if you don't get a kettle, I'll be really disappointed. Or a kettle number one, then okay, yeah. okay we got to boil. I had no water. option. Kettle, kettle number one. Hey, mm-hmm. that's your job. Number two, um, go get can you. You bring a condo? Huh? A what? A condo? A condo? A condo? A condo? A condo? Like a condominium? Like a downtown LA arch? Like yeah. you know how condo. they have those portable yeah. houses? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like a double. It's not a house, thing, dude. Yeah. That's for storage. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, or a shed. A shed. Those home no, Depot no, like, sheds. Can you? Can you? Yeah, like, yeah. if I get an item, I can bring a a fucking double wide trailer. Yeah. Like Will Smith has on a set. Yeah. Mm. A star, right. a star no. wagon. I want Will Smith trailer. You star can wagon. Bring that. I'll, I'll call him. Yo, dude, I'm about to do a loan. Can I? He's not gonna answer, dude. And you can't bring that. Why? It's an item. <laughs> huh? It's a full... No, it's a bunch of items put together. You have to get one item. All right, fine. Yeah. My bad, dude. All right. So um, I'll bring the bed from the trailer. So a mattress. A mattress. Okay. Well, he already... This is a team effort, right? He already has a sleeping, sleeping bag. bag. I can't... I, yeah. He won. And I'll also hold my breath while y'all sleep on my back. <laughs> or I'll bring a tent. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. I'm good with that. <laughs> tent is good. A tent is good. Tent, tent is good. Mm-hmm. I'll bring a tent. So I have the, the no, just let me finish. I'm not done. Kettle. Okay. I had a kettle. Mm-hmm. What's a kettle? For water, hold the stuff. Make how about a, a soup. Bowl? How about a, not a kettle, but how about a, like a pot? A Something that pot. we can use to boil water. I don't want a kettle. I want a pot. Mm. pot oh yeah, my god. Are they the same thing? Yes. Okay, but I want to call it a pot. Pot, a tent. <laughs> and the third thing is um This is a pole pot calling the kettle right here. <laughs> <laughs> can I bring um because we have to like GPS, can I bring my iPad? No. No. No, because you have to drive. You're going to hit Sam Tripoli's tent. (laughs) (laughs) You can't do that, dude. All right. That's not fair. It's insane. I'll bring a compass. Ooh. Um, I don't find it to be as necessary. Sounded good. Yeah, because you're not really traveling places. You're staying in one spot. Yeah. How how about um, I bring, how about, you you have a fish net already? No, I had a spear gun and a dry. I mean a gill net. I'll have a fishnet. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Because I saw it when the only. You know, and Bobby will be fishnet stockings on accident. He'll open up the package. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Like wait, he's like at least there's two of them. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that's it. Uh, we would yeah. die. No, I think <laughs> that we well. would do okay. I think we would make it. What do you guys think, George? How many days would you give us, honestly, out there? And the weather at first is like 25 degrees or maybe 40. Right. No snow yet. No snow yet. But then by probably towards, you know, every week, I would say it drops 20 degrees or 10 degrees. What's the longest someone's done on the show? Because yeah, we've, we've only done one episode. I don't want to tell them that because I don't okay, want yeah, to yeah. give away how long some of it is. Two and a half days. What? That's generous. That's, that's not generous. That's not that generous two at days. all. I'll say, two and I'll, say uh, days. I'll say 14 days. I'm basically, Thank that, you. I'm basically that I'm naked and afraid ish. Wow. Kind of. Yeah. It, 
Because cold is tough. It's not like naked and afraid because you have the things you need to survive. Like if you're just a little bit. Here's the. I don't. Can any of you guys hunt? Let's be fucking honest. I can. I can get I fish can in the animals. water. No, you're though. never gonna. No one's gonna kill shit. I'm gonna kill shit. Bro. No, you're not gonna kill nothing. Wait, but I have experience of killing you're stuff. You're supposed to be ocean. uplifting. We've never been over there. Positive affirmation. Know. Oh my you're goodness. You're gonna kill everything. <laughs> you're supposed to be uplifting our group, and you're. I know. <laughs> All right, not even right. out there. <laughs> <laughs> you're freaking killing in, it. in a garage. <laughs> I get angry. I get emotional. No, I, yeah, yeah, but that's what how would be, that's how I'd be down day one. Uh, We're killing shit. Yeah. I see, I see. Right. So you're right. I can't bring that energy. Yeah. Into the situation. Right. You have to leave that out. So I have to be like, um, four days in, we haven't caught anything. Yeah. yeah. And I have to be more positive. Like, it's gonna happen one day, guys. Yep. Mm. I'm I'm real confident in myself with the fish, guys. So if you tell me that you can subsist on fish that I catch yes. and that you guys keep me warm because I'm very bad with a cold, okay. we can we can we can do it. Well, I'll keep Bobby warm. I'll sleep on Bobby's like back, and he'll you'll sleep in front of Bobby. You yeah, you have a lot of, wait, a lot wait, of wait, snacks wait, wait, sleeping you sleep on my back. Well, I mean, it's like I feel like that's a fair way to do it. You know, that's the appropriate way to do it. Yeah, mm. you know, I'm not sleeping next to your woman, even if we're indoors or outdoors. Right, he's a principled man. I'll, I'll be try in the my best. A lot well, of then I'll be in the middle. Shitty, but yeah. Let's get naked. We get completely naked. Mm, we want, what? Just hear me. That's not gay. Why would we be naked in the Arctic? <laughs> yeah. Because we're in the sleeping bag. Yeah. Right? Imagine this. Us three naked in a sleeping bag. I'm in the middle. Kalila's in front of me. Mm-hmm. Theo's in back of me. And we're jammed, packed in a fucking... <laughs> oh my God. Just like, hear me out, dude. I'm Will trying you hear to hear you out, and it's hurting. <laughs> I know, but just hear me out. We're jam-packed into a fucking sleeping bag, right? Mm-hmm. Imagine that. Now, you're like sardines. You're g- getting warm from our bodies, right? Okay. And then the fucking um, back, uh, sleeping bag is insulating the heat, mm-hmm. right? Oh, right? yeah. Be and nice then all of a sudden, I would probably even ignore his erections. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't get erected. I, I got a think, lot of erections. I don't think anyone gets erect. Yeah. yeah. It's an erection yeah. time. Yeah. This is yeah. survival time. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't get erect when, our frickin when my life is on the line. Mm-hmm. I can't get erect near broken glass even. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't get it right. So you're you're saying two and a half days. You're saying this 14. ain't a Hampton Inn, dude. You even know what we're getting into. I feel like you just you don't really know what we're getting into. Buddy. I know because I have I've only seen one episode. I think if, if I see the series, which I'm gonna do tonight, yeah, I'm gonna burn through it all. It's right, so, so fast. And I, in my head, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, two and a half days. George had it right. Yeah, yeah. I I believe George thinks that. Well, you just you don't even want to go camping. <laughs> I mean, are we at a movie theater? I'm gonna have one. <laughs> what flavor kiss is it? These are almonds. Oh. They're good. I don't like the regular man. They put something bad in the chocolate a couple years ago. They changed the recipe. <laughs> like they, they did it with Coke. No, they just did something to it. I think try to cut corners, save money. My yeah. sister says the meth that's out right now is really something. The meth. Oh wow, man, mm-hmm. it's probably pure as fuck. She's huh? saying the the uh, the arrestees that she's been getting on meth are just a whole nother level. God, I want that, dude. We got to get Bob- Bobby. Maybe that's what the tent thing we bring to the woods, man. You can't pick anymore. It's meth. meth. <laughs> I mean, that would make sense, right? Because you it it is like yep. a um what do you call it um. It, it depletes your hunger. It takes away your hunger. Yeah, you wouldn't want to uh. eat for a month. It's an we appetite suppressant. No sleep. No sleep. Mm. sleep. We don't need to sleep. Yeah. Right. No, but you you'll you'll run yourself to the ground. No, we won't. Like we'll build a gazebo days. probably. Yeah, a gazebo. We'll, we'll build a city first thing. Gazebo. Dude, I'll build a freaking GameStop, bro. <laughs> if I'm on freaking death for long <laughs> enough. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'll build a damn freaking uh, water burger out there. I'll freaking build whatever. But but with meth, we could probably last 14 days. I, I think, think so. With, but it's going to end badly, though. It oh, it'll be bad. Like, yeah, yeah, real bad. It's yeah. going to end with sex. It's going to end with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone is going to not gonna be going to be alive at the end. Someone's going to. I'm going to look like Rick Ingram. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Just like sick Ingram. Like dog. sick Ingram. Sick you know? yeah. <laughs> sick Ingram. You're going to look like uh, the same. Beautiful. Thank you. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. And what about me? You're probably going to look like. Um, I'll probably. Know, you know the fat Dylan, the the, the door guy at the comedy store. Mm-hmm. Look like him. That look, somebody said it's Jimmy Schubert's dad, son. Really? Yeah. But I that could I no. Yeah, somebody did say it. So um, uh, I let's really get want ser- to test we got, look, I want to go serious. One of my I, I favorite want- books is where the crawdads sing. And it's so good. I read it. You read it? Yeah. I've been trying to get him to read it's it. It's unbelievable. It's the best. It's the best book, and I I love the way. 
her life in the marsh and all of that, how she just kind of learned it in her own way when it was better than any other encyclopedia out there. I yeah. want to test it out. You really fucking read the book? Yes, I did. Because I got the audio book. Yeah. Uh, should I listen to it? I mean, look, at this point, yeah, might as well, you know? You got the <laughs> audio book. You've already taken all the freaking brain work out of it. <laughs> now you're asking, <laughs> should I listen to it? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't strain yourself, but get out <laughs> Get out there! No, actually, I I really loved it. I didn't I didn't know how much I was gonna love it, but yeah, it just takes you to like a. She was just amazing. She, it just takes you to a place that's just unbelievable. And then that girl's the struggles, the dad with the alcoholism. Um, man, it's good. Really good book. But you know, plus, the I, that, author is a zoologist, right? That's why oh she was, yeah, yeah. That's right. She had all those things with all the things, all the different animals and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Nature animals, nature. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, flying little things that are in nature. All the herons and insects, the little wings. Heron, and insects. Heron, eagle, nightingale, sparrow, <laughs> you know, um, macaw, everything. Sandbirds, everything they had in there. So, <laughs> yeah, it's good, man. Should we wait for that alarm to no. stop? No, keep going. Nah, man, this is one of our first tests. If we can't handle this, we're fucked up. <laughs> We are screwed. Now, I'm sorry, Bobby. Was I being mean to you, man? I'm sorry. It's just been a long day today. So. <sighs> what I wanted to say. There you go. Is. Feel that peace come into us? Yeah. What I wanted to say. I felt that, man. Is. That's what's real. I <laughs> sorry, but did you feel it? It was interesting. <laughs> Sand birds. It kind of hit us, man. It was I, like peace saying, "Hey, hey, what I, I'm here." Yeah. Mm. What I wanted to say is, is that I, I initially, you know, I know how to read. I know that, man. I should no, have no, said I just that. Stop, stop. I know how to read. I've read pamphlets. Yeah. I've read directions, like when I get it's pamphlet, but yeah. Okay, I've read pamphlet pamphlets. When I get, you know, when I. Order from Gold Belly, get my frozen pizzas. Oh, I think you took me to that shit all one time on your birthday, didn't you? No, it's an app. My bad. Go on. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, and I get a pizza. I know how to cook it because I know how to read. And for me, it's like um, I don't have a good ma imagination. Mm -hmm. So when I read stuff, right, I don't know what how s I don't know how to pronounce certain words when I read. Mm -hmm. And so I have a maybe a mental deficiency or whatever. MD. Yeah, so when I read, when I listen to audiobooks, I am able to, you know, get the correct pr pronunciations of certain words. Mm -hmm. And it, it, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be able to imagine it. But a good, when you read a good yeah. book, you don't need a good imagination. They paint it out for you mm. really well, especially this book. Oh. The detail. But normally, you know, I, I need, you know, even though you've suggested so many good things to me, mm -hmm. you know. In fact, last night we saw a fucking documentary called Athlete A. Mm. It's good. Oh it's about Larry um, Nasser from oh, yeah, USA Gymnastics and how oh he uh, God. Yep. he basically uh, finger banged all those uh, oh. little girls. I shouldn't say it like that. Yeah, he why was sexually that's assaulted? That's what he did. Yeah, but that's yeah. what he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's like this girl. Uh, you, did you see a documentary? Not yet. I'm not you know the, the the Olympic Gymnastics Association had a doctor mm -hmm. named Larry Nasser, mm -hmm. and he um, was. Number one, you find out in the document he didn't even get paid. No, he's a fucking singlet chaser, dude. Guy's he a, is right, a, singlet a singlet chaser, chaser right? Mm -hmm. and, POS, um, baby. Guys, a POS, you know how difficult dude. you know the coaches there are so kind of mean. You know they're he's a, mm -hmm. the well, yeah, like uh, Marta. The Russian, and, baby. The Russian. Yeah, the, the, yeah, Paul the Carolis. Yeah, the Carolis. Oh. They're like they were Nadia Comaneci's coaches, so they were just really mm -hmm. celebrated, tough, right, tough. coaches. They'll stretch you out. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it's so you you have all this negativity and stress, right? Mm -hmm. And emotional and, and physical it, abuse and ponytails. Had, and then they had this guy, this doctor, who would give these kids on the side candy and he was nice to which them it's a huge you know red flag yeah right and then like you know do leg massage and then all of a sudden just jam 
you know. Yeah, and how he tried to grizzly. defend it too. He was like, "Oh yeah, this is just you know coccyx manipulation." Right. Is that what he said? Yeah, yeah he oh. would do things like he would talk about like the 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 pubic symphysis, what? like things in a really medical. He would use a lot of medical jargon to defend what he was doing to these mm -hmm. um, girls. And these yes. poor girls, you know, what I mean, they, they children, feel, baby. They're children. Yeah. They're children, but then they go out there and they compete, and some of them become, you know. Olympic gold gymnasts, mm -hmm. right? Legends. Mm -hmm. legends, legends, the legends of our time, right? But you, it goes to show you that maybe you know, f there there was a thinking, and I, I, I mean, we might have to cut this out, but um, there was a thinking that we we had a discussion, not the molestation, but the strict training. In my head, I was like, does the strict training right equate to Olympic gold? But Kalala was like, you can still be nice. Right. And still have love and still create champions. And I'm tending now to believe that. Well, I my theory is that while discipline, hard work, very regimented, old school Soviet practices might work, mm -hmm. you just don't have a longevity there because there's only so much emotional abuse and physical abuse and so much of your body that you can run down. So it's like, I always say these girls in the 90s, most athletes, including myself, we peak when we're 18, we're yeah. done. Our bodies are already broken. We've had every single injury there is to have. Well, now they're being a little bit more, you know, forgiving, they're being a lot more loving and supportive. And no, these, you have Dara Torres, who was a swimmer in her 35, still competing in the Olympics. And that was unheard of before. Yeah, imagine if comedy was like that. It would take the fun out of it, you know what I mean? <laughs> If I fucking had a bad joke, I get and a Polish person hit me with a ruler. Oh, that was a bad joke. Pop! <laughs> right? You get good fast, I bet, though. Right. Yeah. You get good. But, but we all do that to ourselves. I think that Polish person just inside of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. I know. That's you know? We do it, it to ourselves. Yeah. You know hey, what? guys, we're going to take a quick break to share one of our favorite sponsors with you. Blue Apron. It's the tastiest food that you'll ever have. Mm. You guys, I'm telling you right now, without Blue Apron, I would have died in quarantine. We've had so many delicious meals from Blue Apron. It delivers right to your door. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's you know, guys, it's like restaurant quality food. And it's food a couple of times. Even the Slep King, Papa, made it mm. by following the orders. I don't chop. I had her chop. But you cook. But I'm the one that cooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell them more, babe. I mean, it's really fun for me because even though I'm someone who already cooks my usual five things that I cook well, mm -hmm. Blue Apron helps me discover new recipes that I can then, you know, keep in my recipe bank and use later on in my life. So I really like it for that. I learn a lot of new things and new methods of cooking. Tell yeah. them more, Begil. Guys, don't sacrifice flavor. Don't settle for boring meals. With Blue Apron, you can enjoy top-rated recipes all month long. Check out this week's menu and get $30 off across your first two deliveries when you visit blueapron.com slash belly. That's blueapron.com slash belly. Blue Apron, feed your the soul. Sauce. Enjoy the rest of the show. No, we've been talking. I just want to, honestly, I want to get to like real, we real started, things. dude. That's what I want. We, we, we just started. Let me hear We're almost done. We're almost done. But when do you do, you, how bad do you miss stand up right now? Last week was the first time that I started to kind of miss it for a few minutes. Yeah, that's the first time that I kind of started to think, oh well, maybe I'd like to try out a joke or two. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like it's gotten so. You know, I miss because I I miss because I know there's people that probably would want to laugh and it'd be fun to go places and perform for them. Mm. You know, like go to pl like I thought about trying to go to some smaller cities and do some shows, mm. but the desire to like get on stage and talk about stuff new or it seems like really risky too right now. You know, like I'm a straight white male. You know, we're semi white. You know, I'm Polish Nicaraguan, but if you look at me, you think, oh, this guy's retarded. You know, <laughs> semi, yeah, yeah, yeah. or semi, you know, semi yeah, yeah. SR. Like 20%. So, you know, it just, you know, it's been a little dicey. Like, man, are we even going to be able to talk anymore? You know? Mm. But then just recently I've been thinking, well, maybe it's just a real challenge. Now you really got to, you really are going to have to, you know, walk kind of a fine line. Um, yeah. It's, so I don't know. I'm waiting almost to see how, how like, I in my feelings respond to some of that, you know? Because um, it's like, can jokes that I told before the thing, can I even tell those now? And can I share my truth even? You know, mm. and I think people still will respond. I almost started to think that maybe live comedy shows, if they lock up people's phones, will be more 
real than ever because it'd be the only place you can actually hear somebody really be real because people just shut you down online if you try to even mm. be really authentic and not just the status quo. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we can't get to a place where the reason why I podcast and the reason why I do stand up is because these are two um, art forms. Even podcasting is an art form, right? Mm. Is it or no? It, I mean, I there is, it. you know, we, we come up with things, you know, and but these are two mediums, let's say, not even art forms yeah. where we can. I love it because I, you know, at Mad TV back in the day when I was on that show, people would tell you what to do. Mm. Right. You have to say these lines. Right. Mm -hmm. You would improvise, but they usually cut it together and just do whatever they want, wanted the fuck to do. Right. This is truly mine. Mm hmm. I and Kalilah's too. It's and, and, and Kalila, that's what I meant, right? Kali uh, yes, yo. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I fucking know that. Whoa, buddy. I know, my bad. But what I'm saying. You want to sleep outside tonight? No, <laughs> I know, but what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I'm joking, dude. I'm is, just giving you a hard time. You know, even in this podcast, I've met a lot. You know, I said I threw out the condo thing, mm -hmm. right? And then you guys were like, I have to say tent, mm -hmm. right? Tent. Right. You're right. We've come down a little hard on you. We yeah, have, yeah, I've said a lot of things. You know what I mean? That. I started talking about my the the, the 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 dark ring of hater on my penis, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That didn't bode well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had another joke that didn't work. What was the joke that didn't work? The um, Allen, the Allen, the Allen, the, the, the Allen, and the butt worm. The what butt yeah. worm? That yeah. failed miserably. Oh, the butt worm that really. Butt worm was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't like it. Right in retrospect, but you know, so I make mistakes. But this is why I like it because I could just be myself and. And Do converse it. and say whatever I want to say and express myself, right? Yeah. yeah. Stand up is the same way. And it feels like, you know, society now is seeping in to th even these mediums, mm -hmm. right? And th I feel like there's consequences now and we have to be, we have to edit. Yeah, right? but we can't, and we can't really, we can't be like that, right? It's, it's scary. It's scary. That's what that they way. want us to think, but we can't be like that. We yeah. can't. Yeah. And I'll speak from a woman's perspective. Like, I'm all about, you know, like, I was a victim of sexual assault, so I'm all about getting the bad people out. But at the same time, it's like, we're doing a lot of counterintuitive <laughs> things. I think yeah. it's just women are, and it's like, I, I'm not, I hate, I hate the mob, I hate the online mob, I hate the cancel culture, and there's just zero nuance there. We, mm -hmm. Even women don't give each other breathing room to... Um, be real with each other and be authentic mm. because the moment I say well wait a second let, let's let discuss this well what about or offer a differing opinion other than you know let's burn them at the stake I'm viewed as an apologist right so um, that's where I feel as though it's we're not even being kind to each other in our own alleged safe space mm. we're not even allowed to have that discourse because then I'm just somebody I'm labeled as someone who doesn't understand it or right. Is yeah, go read these links. Right. And yeah. and I, I, I I'm not yeah. reading this. Tell shit. me what you think. Yeah. 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 So in that sense it is frustrating because I it that's not we're never gonna get to a place of like, you know, clear water and -uh. do the yeah. And some people don't want to. Some people I find really just want to control. They don't want to have everybody be heard. They want to control you. You know, some people, it's not about like, hear my side and understand me. Mm. It's about, you need to be this way. This is the right. only way that you can be as a human being. And it's not even an idea of their own. It's like nobody even wants to think inside of themselves, you know. Um, but then also, I feel like that's just a world. If you focus on that world, then that's the world that we are in. And if we don't focus on it, then we're not, you know, we, and we can be in our, we can be in our own world and we have to try to do that sometimes. I feel like, you know, that's a real test to try and still say what we want to say and, and be wrong if we're wrong. Yeah. Isn't that a thing now where you're not given any chance for a redemption arc ever in yeah. your life where it's like, if you're wrong, you're going to stay wrong and we're going to punish you forever. We're going to strip your livelihood away from you, you know, and this is the label we're going to, you know, staple to your forehead for yeah. the rest of your life and I just don't think that's real life I don't think that's 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 the society I want to like raise children in yeah I oh, agree. so human beings are complex creatures yes right yeah, man. we're not just one thing right we're many many different things you know um yeah we're good and bad we're wrong and right right yeah there are there are sides of me that people aren't even aware of mm -hmm. that watch my comedy or you know 
there's things that I believe and there are things that I you know that I want to keep private or whatever. People, there are also I'm different around comics via let's say AA people. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm with you know people from Alcoholics Anonymous or I'm doing recovery work or whatever or I'm with my therapist, I am a certain way. The humor isn't really you know I don't really try to get a laugh. You know what I mean? Or you know, yeah. and I'm not thinking of comedy. I'm being more real. Whereas you know, I fuck around with my comedy friends. And so there are different masks that I wear, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's a complex issue. And, but nowadays it feels like, you know, you're this and that's what you are and you're going to forever be this. And that's fucked up, man. Yeah. Because that's not yeah. the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I think that if I look at my dad's life and I zoomed out, this is what my therapist always says, you got to zoom out. You got to stop being so fucking involved in like, you know, your small little circles. Um, but if you were to look at someone like my dad, who I love dearly. I met him, Richard. No, <laughs> that's oh. my stepdad, Roger. Roger. Oh, Roger. Good guy. <laughs> Richard. Your dad passed away, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My yeah. biological Roger's beautiful, dad. though. I love Roger. Remember my we did God. the fucking pilot, bro? Yeah, I remember that, dude. Remember yeah. when I was the waiter? Yeah, oh, that was my. a fucking yeah. funny day, dude. And then when we saw drunk T.J. Miller. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was fucking weird. Was did you guys night. have him on? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was great on her. He's great, man. He's great, yeah, yeah. He, TJ Miller's great, man. He loves talking about TJ Miller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Well, I think there's a lot of comedians who are still, like, doing exactly what you're saying, you know, like, recognizing that. Like, Josh Wolf, you know, is outspoken about that kind of stuff, I feel like. Um, you know, uh, just wanting to recognize that people are humans, you know? Like, we just had Diplo on uh, the podcast, and we were talking about that, just cancel culture, and he's just saying how it's, it just doesn't leave anybody room to be you know human which is what we are you yeah. know and so what does that mean but it only it's only real if we really really buy into it you yeah. know yeah um but what's scary about comedy now as well is if you have an all-white lineup at a comedy club they're suspect there because of the fact that there are, i know so many people of color that are super funny right but you can't also create a lineup and tick a box like we need the blind nigerian yeah. You know what I mean? We need, the, you know what I mean? The albino dwarf. Yeah. We need a menthol. We need a freaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, somebody from Arabia. We need. Yeah. <laughs> why, why did yeah, you look yeah. at me? Because, you, well, here's why, man. <laughs> yeah. That's merit. You know, you're saying about no, if there's no meritocracy. Like, and, and I don't even understand it in comedy because my favorite comedians are probably Maria Bamford, Chris Rock, and um, Jerry Clower. He's white. And then the other guy uh, who burned his head up with the drugs. Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, so two of my favorite comedians are black. One of my favorite comedians is a woman. Yeah. You know? Like, it's always been talent based. Because here's the thing if you, if you, if, because first of all, those people worked really hard a lot of times to get to that position. Mm. Like, I had to work for like 15 years before, um, you know, I really started to have any real career, I felt like, in stand up. Bro, I, I, I want to kind of just say, I remember you when you were coming up, dude, right? Yeah, I remember seeing you at the, at the place in Westwood. Yeah, right. And I, I would see you, right, come up with your voice and fail and chisel at it to come up with your point of view and to, get, to really authentically be you. Because in the beginning of stand-up, you're not authentically yourself. You're pretending to be a comic yeah. because that's what, something that you saw growing up, mm -hmm. right? So you mimic what you see, but then you'll see real comedians chisel away at that and become authentically themselves. And I saw you do that. I saw you work super hard right and it's like what adam is getting is comics that weren't you know that don't get spots that aren't regulars and now they're going you know a lot of girls a lot of minorities going you know what about me you know and it's like what i wanted to tell them is is that is that i'm a 48 year old chunky korean dude you know who's kind of cute yeah. You test well. I test well. I'm kind of cute, right? Yeah. But it's the reason why I get spots is not because of that. Those facts oh, yeah. is because there's a lot of elements that go into that, right? Mm -hmm. Is is that I worked a lot of a lot in Hollywood, you know? I've um, you know, I've done a lot of stand up. I've done a variety of things. I have a popular podcasts, you know. I have you know a bunch of things, you know. I have a following. I'm yeah. also good on stage. Yeah, you have to. I think you, it, well, you ha well, I mean, first of all, it's like, yeah, I'm a white guy from the South. Name one other white guy from the South that's even at the comedy store. Right. You yeah. want to talk about like there not being anybody like me a lot of times? Like, I feel like. Diverse. Man, there's, 
you know, it's it's so hard to get into this place and to get a career when you feel like you're everybody's enemy and the you know, in the media wants to make you seem like you're the worst person in the world. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it has to be it has to be based on merit because here's why because say if you're a younger comic and I get it you want to be on the on the on the good stages and you want to get spots but if somebody just puts you on a big lineup and they do it and they take off the people who are selling the tickets that people are paying then there's not even going to be anybody at the business yeah, yeah, be- there's going to be no one so you're going to be on the stage there's not going to be anybody there to see it and then the business is going to go out of business so then there's not even going to be a place for you to perform once you work hard enough to get there. Mm. So it's like, I know it's, it's, it's does, it does, it seems long short sighted, but you just have to, you have to believe that your talent will make it happen. Yeah. Imagine being a talent coordinator, Bill Burr, right? Um, um, Bill Burr, Segura, all these guys call in, right? Theo, all these guys, right? And then, you have like eight white guys, right? Then you, you know, Chappelle wants to go, you know, and then you're like, okay, well, I can't put Tom on because I already have Bill, mm. right? But I got to put Oloke Oloka on. He's Filipino? Whatever, right? Even though... No, I would say he is from Sweden. I would say. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, 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 no. Oloka Oloka. Yeah, whoever. Yeah. And so Segura, all these guys I can't put on because I had to fit, fill some sort of quota, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know what I mean? People stop coming to the clubs, you know? And so it should be, uh, again, merit-based, you know? How long have we done, Gilbert? I just want to say we're at, uh, it's 7.15 right now, just in case. Is it really? Yeah. I, yeah, I, I got to get. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. I have, I have, I've got to go. You got to go. Yeah. All right. I let's do it. Do anyway, I would love to come back sometime, though, if you guys right. <laughs> I mean that. We're, we're going to do two. an all helpful advice real quick, and then can you go after that? Five minutes? Mm. No, you got to go now? If I can, I go now. Yeah, you can go yeah, now. Can I don't go want now, yeah. to. No, but, but you, you have to go now. I love you. No, Theo, you're fine. I love you you're too, and I on. wanted to say sorry if I was rude to you, Gilbert, at all. I don't think I was. Even, I, I I don't know. I might have been in my head for like a second, but I think I was just kind of angry about something else. But um, <laughs> I love you guys. Tell yeah. David because David's you're have, gonna have dinner with David. Yes. So tell David that because he's in, he invites me all the time. Yeah, and you don't I'm know. Not I'm really know. quite ready to go out yet, but okay. it's gonna be soon. Okay. Tell and I love you guys, man. I love you too. I'd be honored to be in the woods, stuck with any of you guys. All right, okay, okay. You too, Gilbert. All right. Thanks, man. All right. And I'm Give him a round of applause. Theo Vaughn, all right? Drive safely. We love you. Go out that door, go out the front door, and get the fuck out of here. Okay? Make sure there's no cat following you, though. Yeah, yeah. You guys, make sure you check out Theo's podcast walk this past walk weekend. Walk out, walk out, walk out. Make sure you check out King and the Sting. Make Cat sure Gate begins right now. <laughs> Ooh, and make sure you follow us on Tiger Belly on Instagram, on Twitter at that Tiger Belly. Follow Twilight, Thank you, Clam DK, Bobby Lee, Bobby Lee Live. I have love you. Night. I love, love you guys you so much, dude. Hey, I want to do a birthday wish to my boy Bradley Newman. Bradley, happy birthday! I remember when you were a little tiny <laughs> thing, and you grew up. You put hair on your eyes, face. Look great. So happy birthday, man.